What's up YouTube, Oliver from Tech TV here. Today I will be reviewing Goodreader. This is a PDF uh, reading and annotation app. So this allows you to have PDF files and read uh, you know, with different viewing options and also do a lot of annotations such as highlighting, underlining, doing drawings, adding text. This is actually uh, currently on sale at the moment in the UK App Store. It's uh, $1.99 but that's about with around about um, nearly 60% off. So it's, it's normally quite a bit more than that and it is actually, I believe, uh, one of the top um, paid apps in the productivity section. I'd recommend it if you're doing a lot of things with PDFs. Like for me now, being a student, um, I find that I've got a lot of textbooks and things that are, are now available as PDFs and this is my chosen app um, to, use, to read those textbooks. Let me just show you an example. I open up this maths textbook here. These options you have along the side here, so you've got things like and um, do highlighting, underlining, strike through, and you can draw shapes, arrows, freehand sketch, and obviously as well you can flick through and read the PDF files. And one of the nice features about this particular app, especially for reading books, is one of the viewing options down at the bottom here. If you tap on this icon, you have single pages, double pages, a double page with front cover. So the best one for kind of, if it's a book, is if you press double page with front cover, what that means is it will now present it to you as if you're flicking through the actual book. So you've got your front cover as a single page, and then everything after that is double pages. So you've got like your contents page. If you're on the actual book up, you'd have your contents page in front of you, and then you'd have, you know, the, about this book. And you'd have the pages presented like that, so as if they're bound in the middle, and you've got both there. And obviously, you can pinch in and zoom uh, to have a closer look. And that's a really nice feature, um, in particular for reading. Uh, like textbooks and things. And of course you've got this like slider at the bottom which is great when you've got lots of pages and you get a quick thumbnail so you can swipe to a specific page uh, and things like that you can you know view all the thumbnails there and, and search for a particular page number and things like that. I'll show you some of these annotation features in a different PDF very briefly. I'm going to open up a instruction manual here and just here's just a manual I downloaded off the internet just with some selectable text on it. If we tap in the center to bring up all the options and you can choose to have this uh, menu at the side pinned so even if the rest of it disappears you still get these uh, annotations pinned at the side and you can do things like underline so if I want to underline some text it asks me if I want to save or, or you know create an annotated copy so let's say I want to make an annotated copy I can then choose any color that I'd like to use um, you know, and you can basically just tap on the text and you get this little view and you can do it word by word or line by line, you can just select however much or little you want to underline. Then you can go ahead and save or change the underlying colour. There's also a more advanced colour options if you wish to select a particular colour, you can then go and save that. And it's, it basically works the same if you want to highlight text, you just do that kind of thing. And um, you know, you can go ahead and do all sorts, add comments, do strike through. Um, use the eraser if you want to remove things you can add all sorts of shapes so it's really useful one thing worth pointing out though if you are thinking about buying this app if you would use um, the ability to add text uh, it's worth pointing out that you, the fonts are very limited you literally only get one tool for adding text and it literally only has one font which looks like a typewriter font and you've got this these nice tabs across here at the top which uh, nicely allow you to kind of switch between documents that you're looking at and so on. So it's, it's really good and I would de definitely recommend it if you're using a lot of PDFs and things. Oh, and one other thing worth pointing out as well, if you have a PDF which has got a form, so if it's like a PDF with uh, fillable form fields, that won't work in here because I've tested it out and it's not compatible with fillable form fields. So those are the couple of drawbacks, but apart from that, overall it is very good. And um, I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, if you'd like me to check out any specific apps, if you, if you have any ideas, please leave that in the comments. And um, if you liked it, please thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos like this coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.